Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Scott Lennox here. How's it going, man? Thanks for clicking into the channel. Listen, uh, one of my favorite days of the entire year. Boat is going back in the water. I uh, just got over here to PT's Marine to pick it up. Going to drive it over to the house, do a little work on it. I'll show you that. Um, just some touch-up stuff. Let's power wash the bottom, put a coat of wax on it, clean the top side a little bit, and then she's going in the water. Um, and I can't wait, man. It's figures last week was 75 degrees and calm and now it's 40 and blowing so that's just my luck first flounder of the ocean city season hasn't been caught yet um but it's coming that fish is probably back there water temps around 50 52 at low tide so it's it's looking pretty good conditions wise just a matter of getting out there we got rain and wind coming for the next probably seven to ten days so we'll see if anybody's able to get out there but empire cover man this thing held up all winter long a couple of months over here pts not one drop of water on the top wind uh, it wasn't an issue, even though we had some pretty big storms come through. So go trail this thing back to the house, get started and put her back in the drink. All right, got the boat back here to the house, um, parked in the driveway, no issues on the highway. This cover did great, man. Empire covers. This thing did fantastic um, all winter long. No wind issues, no water on it at all. Came down the road just fine. Now, first, first thing to do, get it off. All right covers off I'll roll that thing up put it in the bag that they provide really nice and convenient that way and then let's get this thing cleaned up all right the cover is off and put away so now it's time to clean the boat up before we splash her in the water tomorrow uh, first thing I like to do is I like to blow it out with a leaf blower I got a small leaf blower I'm gonna blow this thing out get the like dust and stuff out of it and then I'm gonna power wash the top side um, then I'm gonna power wash the bottom side and then a wax metal, that kind of stuff, put a coat of wax on the outside and then she's in a drink. All right, man, power washer's fired up. Let's get this thing cleaned up, baby. Yeah. guys if you've got aqua traction like I do in my boat the stuff is awesome right really really awesome and you can power wash it just be careful uh, put it on a setting that's no lower than 40 40 degrees and stay off of it by six or eight inches but if you do that you can clean it up real real nice There you go, looking good, man. Um, inside, inside looks great. That aqua traction cleans up super nice. Um, I'm gonna do another video and give a little tour of what I use on my boat. I've had a bunch of people asking me, you know, what do you have in your boat? I might like to do that too. Um, so I'm gonna do that in the next couple of weeks. But the aqua traction looking fantastic. So we're gonna do a little uh, metal polish. We're gonna do a little wax coat on the outside around the hull. I don't even know if I'm going to mess with the bottom, man. So I've got a multi-season ablative paint on the bottom of this. I've got Interlux paint on the bottom of this, and it's good for a couple of seasons. So I might touch up where some of the blue is coming through with some stuff I've got left over. Just make it look nice. I got one little nick. One little nick right there. I got to do a little gel coat repair on. But other than that, man, this thing's going to be ready to go in the water tomorrow. And I could not be more excited. Sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. All right, man. So, uh, boat's all power washed. I just shammed it a dry on the outside. I don't even think I'm going to mess with this bottom paint. I just took a little inspection of the bottom. The bottom looks great. Um, there's a couple of spots where the blue is, is shining through just a little bit, but they're so small and inconspicuous. I don't think you're going to be able to tell. Plus, they're under the water line, so it's not really going to make a difference. 
Um, that's just the blue paint that we had on there a couple of years ago. But like I said, this this black uh, Micron CSC from Interlux, it's a, an ablative paint. So imagine like a bar of soap, it kind of wears off as you move the boat through the water. So um, you can keep it in for multiple seasons. That's what I'm gonna do. It's nice and clean. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it like it is. And now I'm gonna wax the sides. I like to keep these nice and nice and tight. So I'm using smooth, used a smooth wax that I got over at Sunset Provisions in West Ocean City. This is the high gloss polymer, real easy to put on. This one's called White Cloud. You can see it's dark. So when you put it on there uh, using an applicator pad, you can tell when it gets dry. Just wipe it on real, real ni nice and gentle. Uh, wait for it to dry and then use the machine and buff it off. Probably do two coats and call it a day. All right, there you go. That first spot's already starting to dry, so it'll be plenty dry by the time I get around to the other side of the boat. And then I'll buff it off and then do another quick, real thin coat and done. While I'm waiting uh, for that smooth wax to get a nice haze on the sides, I'm also going to touch up a little bit of this metal, colonite metal wax. Uh, I'm using this because I've had it for like two years and I just, you don't go through very much of it when all the metal you have on your boat is this. So, colonite metal wax uh, around the T-top. Wait for that smooth wax to dry and then buff it all off. All right, not sure if you can see that, man, but got a nice haze. Got a nice haze on that smooth wax on the side. And actually, I got that metal done pretty good too. It's starting to dry. And you can see it's starting to haze up pretty good too. And then once I go up there and buff that off, that metal will be nice and shiny. These sides will be nice and smooth and this bad boy will be ready to go back in the water after I fix that little crack um, but looking good so two ways you can do the wax on the side I like to put it on by hand and then I use the machine to knock it off you just use a, a buffing wheel um, with the polishing pad on it I'll show you that in a second or you can do it by hand just use your just use a terry cloth and wipe it all off to a high gloss shine um, not much on the machine here because you really can't get a machine to that. So just a uh, terry cloth and rub that thing down. Don't be nasty. All right, I got my variable speed uh, buffing tool here. I'm going to set this on about four. I've got a polishing pad on here. This is perfect for this. And it just makes it way, way quicker. You don't have to do as much work. Shoulders get sore, man, but this takes it right off. Once you get used to it, you'll actually feel the pad cutting through the wax. So um, you get the hang of it, and man. Ooh, boy. All right, I'm going to knock the rest of this out. Knock that metal out. This thing's going to be ready to go. All right, so you're going to take a terry cloth or a rag and uh, knock down the stuff that you may have missed, little small areas. But look at that. Ooh, so shiny. All right, now next, up to that metal. Outside the boat looking nice, man. Looking really, really nice. Smooth as silk, or should I say smooth. And now the metal. Metal can be a tedious pain in the you know what. That's got a really, really nice sheen on it from this metal wax drying and it's just as simple as taking a rag throwing it on there oh my word and polishing that bad boy off oh my Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. get the rest of this stuff and it is going to be looking real good right now Oh, that looks good. That looks real, real good. 
colonnade metal polish this one coat I got some pitting and stuff up here just underneath the canopy just because this is an old t-top man original with the boat boats of 2011 but that looks good man that looks good I'm gonna put a little vinyl protector on these seats they look good Tommy at rocket upholstery hooked these up last year like I said I'm, I'm gonna get uh, do a little tour of this boat uh, trolling motor goes up there aqua traction rocket upholstery all kinds of stuff with this boat man it's I've had it for a while now and I love it um, people always ask me when you're gonna upgrade so you can go to the ocean that sort of thing but this is it man this Carolina skiff has been good to us caught a lot of fish and we plan to catch a bunch more so um, she's all ready sides are all waxed trolling motors going back on I'll show you that um, insides power washed and clean metal is clean I'll give a little rub-a-dub to the console other than that man she's about ready nice and clean I don't know if you guys have seen that before aqua traction you can do all kinds of custom stuff man I got a flounder on there that flounder I think I measured him out to 19 inches so if I put a flounder on that he matches up there I know he's gonna be a keeper all summer long we'll get into flounder regs later uh, this year hooked on OC logo here in the floor The aqua traction logo representing middle part of the deck and then back here If you don't know now, you know fishing OC with the measuring device and this thing is very very accurate uh, We'll sometimes put it on the blue board just to make sure but that uh, measuring device I tape measure on this aqua traction is really really accurate so boats ready man i'm gonna give her another little cleanup tomorrow morning after she dries up a little bit and then um we're putting her in the water that's up next what's up good morning everybody a new day has dawned uh boats all dried up uh putting the finishing touches on it the pure lure for van is going back underneath the seat here uh She's going in the water, man. Yes, those are fishing rods. I'm gonna see what this bay looks like. It's supposed to be a little windy this afternoon, but that first flounder hadn't been caught yet, so I might have to drop a drift or two if all goes well. And dude, I gotta show you this. Look at this thing. Steve and Dan Cavey, thank you gentlemen very, very much. Off the hook, here's a quick clip of what it used to look like. Busted up, nasty, over 10 years old. And now this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. Looks like a new engine sitting back there, except for the lower unit and everything else. But anyway, that's going down. This is going in. Let's put her in a drink, man. Excited for the season. And the wind about to blow 30 miles an hour and rain two to four inches. Sounds great. All right, here we are at the Ocean Pines Yacht Club where I put the boat in and um, very deceiving here because it looks super calm but out here not so much i am going to go give it a look but uh pre-drop checklist here's what has to happen for me straps come off uh, take both these straps off drain plug very important drain plug ready to roll and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie a line i just usually loop a line onto my bow rail here and then i'm going to connect it to one of the cleats down here on the dock that way when everything's loose i can just let the boat go pull the trailer forward boat should slide off and then just sit there by itself i'll go grab it and tie it up while i park the truck so let's get going all right got my line uh, tied off to the cleat here i'm just gonna run this down the dock and i'm gonna tie it off on this first cleat doesn't need to be tight or anything put a little half hitch in her sorry you couldn't see that there we go, half hitch there, line goes to the corner, and then I'll float the boat back here, and everything should be honky-dory.
PT's Marine, baby. Purring like a kitten. New cowling from off the hook. Oh my gosh, let's go. All right, man, mission accomplished. Boat is in the water. Uh, it is windy. I, I couldn't come out, put the boat in the water, and just go right to the slip, man. I had to come out here and give her, give her a test drive. Running great, looks great, but it is honking out here. It is uh, supposed to be 15 to 25 west southwest this afternoon, and it's uh, it's there now. It's you can see these white caps over here behind me up in the thoroughfare. Um, it is not going to be a pleasant afternoon tomorrow. The wind drops a little bit, but it gets super cold, uh, and then all the coming week. It looks like rain and wind and rain and wind, so I don't know when the first flounder of the season is going to be caught, but guess what? I'll give it a drip, baby! Yeah! One time, we're going to try this one drip. One drip. Deadly doubles on. I'm going to give this one pass, see if anything wants to nibble. If not, I'm going to take this thing back to the barn, and uh, we'll see you all next time. But one quick drift. to try I don't know if I'd call that a real attempt at flounder fishing man whoa all right let's go put this thing in a slip holy crap there she is home sweet home man it's windy today home sweet home for the next eight months uh, unfortunately the water's not turned on here at the marina yet so um, it's supposed to pour down rain the next like year and a half um, but she's in the water looking good Gave her a little test run there. I wouldn't really call that a flounder try, but it was since the lines were wet, but that fish will be caught here real soon. <laughs> and uh, now the downside to putting the boat in the water by yourself, I gotta walk back to the ramp. See you next vid. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing, I'm always thankful for